Hello, I'm Linda McDonald. And I'm Jean Sarson. And we're wearing orange today as uh, members of the NGO CFUW. And CFUW has an initiative this year uh, to prevent and respond to violence against women. And you see, sitting between us is a globe of the planet that we inhabit. And on it, what I have done, I have stuck uh, signs, I guess, of the many forms of violence and discrimination that women and girls uh, endure because they are women and girls. Some examples are female genital mutilation, child marriages, rape, um, and these ones here that are in red. I have made them in red because they identify non-state torture. I specifically made them in red because non-state act of torture, which is torture inflicted by private individuals or groups, seldom is really recognized as a form of violence that occurs in the private sphere or in homes or on the street. So what we're drawing your attention to, we want you to recognize that non-state torture occurs around the world. And if I could move the globe, you'll see it, that it occurs um, in every country. The places that have no stickers, that's the ocean. However, I have one off of Nova Scotia here that is on the ocean because a young woman who came to us, her perpetrator had a boat and he took her out in the boat and tortured her on the water. So that's why one is sticking out. Uh, off the coast of Nova Scotia, and uh, the Canadian or the CFUW, the NGO that we're members of, they have a policy on the criminalization of non-state torture, and also the international NGO, the International Federation of University Women, they also have a policy on non-state torture. So we want you to remember that women and girls all around the world do endure the atrocity of non-state torture, which includes electric shocking, caging, shackling, water torture, drugging, all the same horrors of uh, state torture. We want you to remember them, to look at your laws, to see if there is a law in your country on non-state torture, if there isn't, to lobby for it, and if there is, to make sure that women and girls are being protected by that law. And if you want more information on non-state torture, you can look at our website, which is www.nonstatetorture.org. Thank you.